Hello everyone, what's going on? My name is Heen, and today I'm going to make a much requested video on how to sign up for Drift City JP. And in this tutorial, uh, you're going to want to have a uh, working email address that you can access, and, uh, well, an internet connection, the same one you're watching the video on, I guess. Um, so, okay, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to rario.jp. And when you reach the main page, you should see all of the different games that Rario.jp hosts, including Drift City. Um, so if you click on Drift City, you'll be greeted with this page here. And on this page, you're going to want to click the leftmost dial of the three dials at the bottom, the one that's right next to the grill on the Viper. Click that dial, and it should bring you to the Drift City main page. Now, once you've reached this page, You'll notice that it has a bunch of uh, details listed down in the center. Those are where you'll find all of your events. And usually, uh, when a new event is posted, you can look there and you know throw Google Translate on it to translate into your respective language. Okay. And uh, now to start the sign-up process, you're going to want to click this button right here, this link right at the top. Usually next door it says Update or Event. In this case, it says Update. So when you click that, it'll bring you to this page here, uh, and this this tab will be blank. It won't have an email address preset in there, but this is where you're going to want to put your email address, and make sure, like I said, valid email address that you can access, because it does require a confirmation email. Uh, they do not spam you with emails, uh, for what I know. I have not been spammed by them at all, um, unless you choose to, and you'll see that in a minute. Um, so when you select that, you'll... Uh, you should see a confirmation message saying that they sent you an email. And if you look in your inbox, uh, make sure you check your spam. Uh, I know several of my friends who have tried to do this, uh, actually, you know, the message went to spam for some reason. Uh, different spam filters, you know. So basically, the email should look something like this. Uh, definitely all in Japanese text. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the link at the top. The one that looks like a bunch of uh, gener randomly generated characters. And when you click on that one it should bring you to the next page, which is this page here. Now this page will be in Japanese, um, but I've gone ahead and translated it for you guys. Uh, and it's and it's very important that you do not translate this page. If you do, you could reload the page and do it again. Um, make sure this page is not translated, because if it is translated, when you do the submit form, at the end of this, it'll try to submit English responses, where the only responses that were originally there were Japanese, therefore, you know, it just it says, hey, this is not valid. So, make sure you don't translate this. I'm going to leave this up here for a little while so you could take a little peek at it, just to make sure you got it. Pause the video here if you need to. Fill out all the stuff on the form. Um, as for certain things like uh, profession, um, and the, some, some other forms, like, like where you live in Japan, uh, you could pretty much put anything there. It doesn't really matter. Um, another thing too, on the list of all the games, uh, you can select to not receive emails for any of them. However, uh, usually I just set it to Drift City so I could receive the you know email about the update when there's a new update to the game. Uh, it's very infrequent that they send out an email though. They send it out maybe once a month. So you know, just if you see a Japanese, you know, email in your inbox, it's Drift City if you select that option. So after you fill it out, it should look something like that. Once again, make sure it's in Japanese, and then you're going to click the button at the bottom to submit the form. And if you've done everything correctly, you should see uh, this confirmation message. And if you do not get to this point, it's either because you could have messed up the CAPTCHA, which is understandable, sometimes they're a bit tricky. Uh, the usernames are pretty small. That's another thing, too. Um, you might have to just put a bunch of random characters. Also, uh, the only way to get like capital letters, I believe, is to paste them in. So that's another thing. And make sure your password, when you're typing it in, says OK next to it, just to make sure that it meets all the general guidelines, like it has uh, numbers or special characters. Uh, for the most part, I think you only need letters and numbers. That's the only requirement. And then after you press Submit on that form, after reviewing all your information to make sure it's correct, you'll be greeted with this page, which means you successfully signed up for Drift City. And that is step one done, which is pretty much the hardest step here. Uh, so let's go on to a bit of the easier steps. Now, after you've signed up, you're going to want to go back to the main page that you went to earlier, but this time you'll notice on the left where, where you have the sign-in button where it says ID and then a bunch of Japanese characters under that. Uh, make sure you fill in your username in the ID section and your password in the lower one and press the blue button to the right to sign in. And once you've signed in, 
you should be greeted with this box here. It should be almost identical, if not identical, to the box that I have there, which indicates that you do not have a character on the server, which is fine, because there will be names there soon enough, because the, uh, the website actually keeps track of what characters you have, and it's actually quite interesting, because there are events that are actually only on the web page that are out of game, so that's why I highly encourage you to select, uh, be opted in for emails from uh, Aurario and Drift City, uh, just to make sure that you're up to date with all the events. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to click right up here in this little grayed out overly bit in the top and select the right option. And that'll bring you to the download page. Once you've selected that, you're going to want to scroll down to the woman at the bottom who has a large orange box next to her. Uh, if you click the orange box, you'll notice that a 2 gigabyte download will begin for the Drift City launcher. And at this point in time, you pretty much have a good basic idea of, well, that's the launcher. Um, make sure the download is uninterrupted. I have heard uh, people, you know, that they lose connection in the middle of the download, and then when it finishes, they're getting, like, errors. Uh, I'm not really sure what these are from, other than the fact that, you know, you could be missing packets and stuff like that. It is over, you know, you're downloading it from probably a Japanese server host. Um, so make sure that you uh, download the game fully and don't and try to keep your connection as stable as possible. Don't watch YouTube videos and stuff while it's downloading. Just kind of walk away from your computer for a little bit. Uh, if you have a decent internet connection, it took me about 20, 30 minutes to download. It might take you an hour or two. Uh, so this would be a good time to you know, do some other things while you're downloading Drift City. And a good thing to do... Uh, you know, probably maybe, probably afterwards, because <laughs> this, is, this is also easier, your, uh, your bandwidth, is to download the locale emulator. Now, downloading the locale emulator is only for, I believe, Windows 8 and above, so Windows 8 and 10, uh, because on Windows 7, the way of doing this is to actually set your system locale to Japanese, and doing that will enable you to see Japanese text in the game. But if you do not download the locale emulator, which you don't have to, it'll just display all of the kanji in-game as question marks, uh, which makes it much harder to navigate the game. Even though I do not speak Japanese or know any Japanese kanji, um, I can still navigate the game pretty well because I have, I, you know, I've recognized some kanji to be associated with certain items. So it's very helpful to have the locale emulator. When you click on the locale emulator, you're going to be greeted with this screen here. And you're going to select a download from GitHub. And then once you selected that, you're going to scroll down to the, not the pre-release ones, but the latest stable release. And select that one. And in there, it should say Downloads. And you're going to want to select the one that says Locale Emulator with the version number. In this case, it's 2.1.1.0 .zip. That's the first link on that lower downloads part. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to want to go into the folder and extract everything. And you're going to want to run the Locale Emulator installer executable file. And once you've done that, it should run it for a little bit and it'll give you a confirmation message saying that it's installed. And from there, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your install of Drift City, which should be on your desktop. You should have an icon for it. And when you launch it, you're not going to want to just double click on it to launch it. What you're going to do is right click on it and scroll down to where it says locale emulator, select that. And it might require you to make a profile. And usually when you have the profile, uh, selected for the first time. It usually defaults to Japanese for some reason. I guess this is made by a Japanese developer, uh, which is quite convenient. Uh, so when you do that, uh, it will know next time when you launch it, it's time to launch Japanese. Then next time you right click on it, when you go down to locale emulator, it just says run in Japanese. Also run in Japanese administrator. You do not need to run the game in administrator mode. Uh, just you know, launch it regularly and that'd be fine. Uh, and I can confirm from my previous uh, suspicions about the game, you do not need a uh, VPN to connect to the game. Uh, you can connect from anywhere in the world. There is no longer an IP block on Drift City Japan, which is excellent. Uh, I'm not sure if they took that off because of uh, Games Campus Drift City going down. They might have. Good for them. That'd be that's great. Uh, and yeah, uh, after that, you just launch the game from the launcher, and it should run uh, a bit of patches, just trying to keep the game up to date. And you are all set to go on Drift City JP. And uh, yeah, that is the full tutorial on how to install and start up in Drift City JP. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please please be free to leave them in the comments. I can't answer every question, as some of them are a bit out of my help range with this, where certain errors you might have to look up on your own and back search them uh, when it comes to downloading the game and also uh, getting locale emulator set up. But there are guides on both of those uh, you know, on the internet. <laughs> Who knows where. 
But anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And until next time, this is Heen, signing out.